Well, uh, of course, it is Monday, so we love our Money Monday segments, and May really just around the corner. And did you know that May is Women's Health Month? And a lot of times you hear health goes hand in hand with stress, and stress goes hand in hand with money. Well, our Money Mondays go hand in hand with Kyle Wingfield, of course, from Finley Alexander Wealth Management, who is back. Kyle, good morning. How's it going? Uh, good morning, Natalie. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am well. So, uh, yeah, you think women's health and, and stress and a lot of stress is where I'm thinking to talk about deals around money. What do you see in your office that you wanted to make sure and, and share with our viewers today about this and maybe how to decrease the stress most importantly? Well, number one, I think money in general uh, causes uh, stress for most folks, whether you have a ton of it or you don't have enough of it or whatever you believe your situation to be causes a level of anxiety. And I think a lot of that anxiety has to do with not being sure about the future and what's gonna happen with this money. So I think planning brings that pressure and that anxiety down. Think of it like this, when you go on a vacation, what makes you more excited about going besides you don't have to go to work? It's you've got a plan for that awesome seven or 10 days of what you're gonna do and what, how you're gonna enjoy yourself. Well, you can do the same thing with your money and then there's things about money people hate like debt and everything else. So you gotta deal with that. But all that stuff causes stress. Well, talking about this plan, Kyle, I mean, I feel like for some you think, okay, on the surface, yes, it sounds good. I've got a plan. Maybe it's not as specific as I need. Why is it that a plan really does decrease stress? And how can you make a plan, especially, you know, as we age and go through the cycle of life, something that really does decrease stress? Okay. That's an awesome question. I mean, so many people don't even know what a plan is, especially around their money. So start thinking about a plan like a, around all the risk, all the things that could make the wheels come off of this thing or would, would, would threaten your financial security or your financial happiness. What are they? Taxes, right? Government turns the dial up on that. That's less money for you. Markets go down. Stock markets go down. It could mean less money in your, in your retirement accounts. Inflation, the cost of living goes up more than you anticipated. So that's less income to have for security reasons. Okay, someone gets catastrophically ill. So if you start thinking about all the things that are just risk uh, items in life that would make your life suck, they also make your money suck. So, you know, if you can think of a plan that allows you to pivot, planning is being prepared to deal with the unforeseen in a way that does not threaten your financial security or happiness. That's a plan. You know, I'm curious when it does come to the plan or say you want to track out, you know, your portfolio, which is something that we've talked about in the past. I've heard mixed messages about how often you should check that and kind of gauge in, make sure where you stand. These days, it's easy. I can check investments on a daily basis, which maybe sometimes is not the most healthy thing to do. But how often should you look into that? Well, it really depends on where you are in the arc, right? So if okay. you're just starting out or you're getting five, five years from retirement, already retired, it really depends. It, I think, Natalie, it starts with purpose-driven planning or goals-based planning. So what is your outcome? What is the purpose for the money that dictates where it goes? And some of those places you'll be parking that money to generate a defined outcome doesn't need to be checked on all the time. I think a lot of people check because, one, it's fun. Oh, am I up or am I down? But I think some of the obsessive checking I've seen people do over the 15-plus years of guiding and leading and protecting them, it's been more of, I hope I'm okay. I hope I'm not, oh, oh my gosh. And I think that kind needs to be nipped in the bud. You can do that with purpose driven planning. What is your purpose? What are you trying to accomplish? What kind of lifestyle do you want to lead? You know, what could threaten that? And then start building something around that and then check the things you want to check, right? But if you're doing it right, you don't have to check like that because you got a plan for that. I like hearing that. That's good. Something I need to, to digest for sure. You know, I'm curious. I want to get to know a little bit before we end today, the clients that you do help, because I'm assuming you see people who have never thought about coming up with that purposeful plan before and the stress they may have. And then once it's all down, once you begin working with them at Finley Alexander Wealth Management to then seeing the stress decrease, you must see that in your office on a regular basis. Oh, oh yeah. No, that's, it, it, it gives me fulfillment right you, you come in and you don't know and there's anxiety and depending on where the person is in life they might say i'm a little concerned i just want to know here's the point no matter what someone's thinking about money usually when they're five years out from retirement already retired that's primarily who we work with also business owners who have gone from doing okay to all of a sudden they're doing two three four five million dollars in gross receipts or whatever so here's what's happened 
they don't really know if they're going to be okay. Every question that a person has routes back to, am I going to be okay? Am I going to have enough? Will it be enough? Whatever it is. And so being able to put something together that follows their definition of success and what they want to see happen and not see happen with their money. And then when it gets down to their money and financial situation, all they really care about is, and they fill in that blank and we build something around that. And you watch literally in five meetings and six meetings in three weeks or four weeks, whatever the time frame is, yeah. go from a hundred percent stress yeah. cool to, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yes. <laughs> why didn't I do it sooner? I'm sure. Why didn't I do it sooner? Right? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, Kyle, thank you. We want to make sure and share your contact information right now. There it is on your screen. Kyle, we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks again for your time.